One hit wonders have been common throughout all generations and genres of music. Sugar Sugar by the Archies has remained a popular song for the half a century it has been released. Featured in movies such as The Sandlot 2 and The Bee Movie, along with several remakes and covers from other artists, solidifies this catchy tune as a classic. Yet, nobody remembers much else from the Archies. Take All Me by AHA from the 80s, Macarena by Los Del Rio from the 90s, and Teenage Dirtbag by Weedis from the 2000s are a couple examples of other one-hit wonders. One measure to look at is Spotify streams, where most artists who achieve a song with the feet of a billion streams become commercial successes. Some don't translate well, though, like Arizona Service with Roxanne, Pofu with Deathbed, and Vance Joy with Riptide having over a billion streams, but the artists fail to continue their success. One artist in particular sticks out heavily, an artist with one massive hit that is one of the highest selling songs in the 21st century, with only one other song that even charted on the Billboard Hot 100. From the creation of a classic to a commercial failure that not many people expected, this is what happened to Godier. Godier, real name Water de Backer, is a German artist that stuck in a music group in high school. After the group went their separate ways, music stuck with him and his solo counterpart, Godier, which is the French version of his own name. Australian radio stations noticed the talent that Backer held, earning him a significant amount of airplay. A couple years after his first release, he teamed up with fellow underground artist Chris Schrader to form the band The Basics. Godier would still continue to make solo music despite being in the band. Backer's lifestyle was chaotic to say the least. From constantly moving to dividing time between multiple music projects, he surprisingly wasn't phased as his consistent releases continued. His 2006 album, Like Drawing Blood, was successful in Australia. As time went on, Becker took time away from the basics, which turned out to be a great decision. Becker started working on his third studio album, Making Mirrors. Later on, he would link with successful singer Kimbra to release one of the biggest songs of the 21st century, Somebody That I Used To Know. Number one in 23 charts, 11.8 million copies sold in one year, 14 times platinum in the United States, Song of the Year, Video of the Year, the list goes on. The success of this track led to many certifications in many countries for the Making Mirrors album. Yet, no song came anywhere near the success of somebody that I used to know. The other single, Eyes Wide Open, is Backer's second highest streamed song with just over 43 million streams. For comparison, somebody that I used to know has 1.1 billion streams. Becker took a couple years away from music, returning in 2015 to release a project with the basics. He also launched a personal project and a tribute project on his website. Throughout this time, Backer took a step away from his solo music, even teasing that no new music will ever be released again. And seven years after he released his smash hit, he finally returned to solo music in the form of features. Around this time is also when he announced his fourth studio album, but since then, there has been no new music. He last released with The Basics in mid-2019, and he released a collaboration album with some of the band members in mid-2020. Since then, Backer has reportedly been working on his fourth album, but as aforementioned, there has been no official word on whether or not this album will turn into reality.